Welcome to Axon and Enterprise Data Catalog. Currently, Axon can integrate with Data Quality, Secure at Source, and Enterprise Data Catalog, or EDC. So what is EDC? In today's organizations, data is distributed across many different departments, applications, data warehouses, both on-premise and in the cloud, making it a challenge to know exactly what data organizations have and where. EDC automatically scans data assets across the enterprise, catalogues and indexes them for enterprise-wide discovery. The catalog then represents an indexed inventory of all of the data assets in the enterprise. So why integrate EDC with Axon? Because EDC can scan data across the cloud, on-premise and big data, it dramatically increases the visibility of data assets in an organization and enables IT users to be more productive and business users to be full partners in the management and use of data sharing technical and business knowledge and information. This means that resources defined in EDC can be utilized in Axon. When integrating with EDC, there is no separate installation necessary. The EDC parameters need to be defined by the Axon administrator or super admin in the admin panel. In this demonstration, we will take a look at how to access the Enterprise Data Catalog resources, how to create connections or links between the EDC resources and the Axon systems, and also how to create links between the EDC columns or fields and the Axon attributes. The integration settings have already been configured and our user John Admin has the appropriate profile in order to be able to access the data catalog. As you can see from within Axon, John Admin has an Enterprise Data Catalog tab. Once the Enterprise Data Catalog loads, we can see that there are 15 resources listed. And currently there are zero fields. We're going to create a link between one of the EDC resources and one of the Axon systems. To do that, we right click on the resource Choose Manage Linking, and here we can choose to link the resource in EDC to our system in Axon. I'm going to save my changes, and the links will be created. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that our global sales resource has been linked to our MDM Axon system. Not only that, but if we click on the fields tab, we can see that there are now 29 fields listed, and these are coming from the global sales resource that we just linked to our Axon system. It is also possible to create a link from a column or field to an attribute in Axon. So once again, I select the column or field, right click and choose Manage Linking. I can then choose the data set that I want to use. And I want to use the master policy holder data set. 
and I'm going to link the national ID column to my policyholder identifier. And I save my changes. And we can see that this column now has a status of associated. If I return to Axon, I'm going to perform a search on my MDM system and go to Maps. If I choose to view the attribute overlay, and if I choose to view the field name here, I can see the linked field is available in the maps. Clicking on the field name will bring me to the field in EDC. If I return to the system, I have opened the MDM system. And if I click on Enterprise Catalog tab, the linked resource is shown here. We have seen how to access the resources that are available in EDC, how to link a resource to an Axon system and a column to an Axon attribute, and also where they can be seen within Axon.